you know that I've been passionate about one person getting into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I've been talking about John Facenda. And I never met John Facenda. Let me give you just a little taste of the voice of God. This is the NFL's voice, John Facenda, just to give you an idea of what that sound was growing up with NFL films, how important it was to an entire generation. Here is the late John Facenda. The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea. With a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather beaten. He wears a hooded sash with a silver hat about his head and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold. And the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. So it was a while ago, and I talked to McLovin about this. Actually, I reached out to the Pro Football Hall of Fame because John Facenda is not in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Baseball celebrates its voices. And I thought, why doesn't the NFL celebrate its voices? Or the voice of the NFL? He's a contributor, and he should be in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And... I wrote a letter to David Baker. David is the president of the Hall of Fame, and and he was very nice, very polite, uh, welcoming. And I said, look, David, I don't know John Facenda. I never met him. I don't know his family. I just know what he meant to me growing up. And David said, submit a letter, and then I'll pass it on. Yesterday, I get a phone call, and it's from the Pro Football Hall of Fame to tell us John Facenda is going in. He is the recipient of the Pete Rozell Radio Television Award. And uh, let me bring in David Baker, the president of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. First of all, David, thank you for putting up with me. And second of all, this is awesome. This is great news. It made my weekend. So thank you. Dan, you're easy to put up with because uh, we love what you do and we appreciate all you've done for the game. Uh, But this was kind of a unique experience because I remember when you called me first before you sent me that letter. And uh, it was... uh, it's a process much like all of our Hall of Famers, uh, but the Pete Rozelle Award is really unique because it's about excellence in broadcasting football. And John Facinda, as you know, was not really a broadcaster. He didn't broadcast games. He didn't, uh, you know, he, he, he wasn't uh, like one of the guys in the booths there. But he was at NFL Films, like you said, referred to as the voice of God. And for a whole generation of football fans, uh, this guy is a voice that baritone is synonymous with strength and power and the character of the NFL. And, and, and he helped us love the game. And it's fitting that in a year that Steve Sable goes in as a hall of famer uh, to join his dad, Ed Sable as a hall of famer, both will have bronze bust there uh, that John Vicenda will receive the Pete Brazel award for excellence in broadcasting. Thank you for uh, for everything here. I Like I said to you when I talked to you and I wrote the letter, I, I never met him. I just know what he meant to me and an entire generation. And hopefully a new generation gets to experience John Facenda. But I want to thank the Pro Football Hall of Fame and, and certainly you, David, for uh, entertaining this idea. Hey, I promise you, Dan, we're going to keep his legacy alive now forever. That's what we do at the Pro Football Hall of Fame. But uh, what's pretty cool, and this is a real compliment to you and you know, I'm sure your listeners know it, but uh, when you called me, you weren't calling me as Dan Patrick celebrity. You were calling as a fan. Yeah. You, you, you loved the game. You loved what this guy had done. And for so many of us on Saturdays, you know, it was being in front of the TV set to watch NFL films, football follies, or, you know, the, those mythical things that Steve Sable would weave together and John Facinda would narrate. Uh, and when you sent your letter, which was was well done, uh, you know, and it went on to our committee of selectors uh, for this Pete Rozelle Award, 
um, you know, it kind of opened the door to people saying, yeah, this is somebody who should be recognized. This is somebody who uh, for not only for this generation of fans, but probably for generations to come because things like you just played for the autumn wind, uh, you know, it, it, uh, it is synonymous with an NFL. And uh, this year he'll go in um, as the recipient of the Pete Rosell award. Uh, we actually have, what we think is going to be the greatest gathering in football ever that's going to take place in Canton to kick off the 102nd season of the NFL um, because we have really two classes. With the pandemic having canceled last year's enshrinement, we will have this incredible centennial class that will um, celebrate you know, the 100th year of the NFL where we were having 20 Hall of Famers for 2020 and now we have the class of 2021. So we have the unique situation of uh, having two Pete Rozelle recipients that'll be honored. Uh, Joe Buck for 2020, uh, he was actually honored in the middle of the game from Cleveland uh, at halftime. Uh, that's when he was informed. And because uh, John is no longer around, his son Jack will receive the award uh, on August 6th at the Gold Jacket uh, presentation, um, but we thought it appropriate since you put in the nomination uh, that we call you and give you the good news. David, I look forward to it, and uh, thank you again. We appreciate everything the Pro Football Hall of Fame has done. Thanks, Dan. Thank you for all you do for the game. That is uh, David Baker. He is the president and CEO of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Nice.